Hi, everybody. Um, I'm back again with another card flip. This one is for the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. This is a little bit of an older deck. It came out a few years ago, I do believe. But I just got it, so it's brand new for me. And so far, I am loving this deck. It is really, really nice. Um, I like the messages. I like the artwork. It's just a beautiful, beautiful deck. So let me switch cameras, get rid of the virtual background, <laughs> and we'll get this show on the road. Hold on just a moment. Okay, here we go. Now, in case you didn't see it clear enough earlier, this is what the box looks like. It's also by Colette Baron reed and it's the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. So here we go. First up, Bone Collector. Gentle Gardener. Wizard of Awareness. Spirit of Place. Goblins. Oops. Mountain. Into the unknown. Come together. Always hear the Beatles song when I hear that phrase. Storm fields. Rock bottom. Balancing act. Slow and steady. Solitude. Ride the wave. One ring circus. Rescue. Ghostlands. Magic Stream. Dragon's Lair. Flying. Field of Dreams. Intention. Golden Palace. Stuck in the mud. Metamorphosis. Deep freeze. Home. Movement. Coming to life. Making a choice. Dry desert. Magic prayer. Peaks of joy. Spark. Education. Commitment. Cleaning house. Heal the ouch. Protecting treasure. Follow the leader. Unexpected visitors. Wide open. 
details, details. Strength. Sad embrace. Coming apart. Sacred pool. Wishing well. Talisman. Compass. Moonlight. Magical map shifter. Listening. Encouragement. And that's it. That's the whole deck. Of course, it also comes with a guidebook. As you can see, um, I've already been through it and marking it and highlighting things in it. I tend to do that when I get a new deck. The first thing I'll do is I will sit down with my new deck and with the cards and with the guidebook. And I'll go through each card and kind of hold it for a minute and just get a feel for that card. And um, and then I will, uh, it's a bit easier to talk to you now that I'm looking at you. Um, anyway, I will go through each card, take it one card at a time, just kind of hold that card in my hands for a few minutes, kind of run my fingers over it. Um, j just sort of a way to infuse my energy on the card as well as to just get the energy of the card to go into my psyche. And then after I look at that card, I'll pick up the guidebook. I'll read the entry for that particular card. Um, anything that kind of jumps out at me or really speaks to me um, with that particular card's entry, then I'll go in and I'll highlight it. Uh, with a marker and um, and I go through each card in the deck and then once I do that I do um, I do a cleansing on it usually with um, white sage uh, incense smoke I like the way it I like the way it makes me feel that it's clean when I use that scent um, and then from there that's about it I um, I use the uh, I go through them and then I'll come in here and I'll do a read through, card flip through for y'all. Um, and the main reason why I'm doing them is simply because I know, in, especially for new people to tarot and to oracle cards, when I first started, I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I'd never, never used tarot or oracle cards before. I wasn't sure how I was supposed to. Um, to determine what kind of cards to get. And um, and when you're locked in your house and the only way you can get something is to order it online, which was where we were all at a few years ago in the pandemic, um, it's, it's a lot harder to find the right deck for you because you're not physically there to look at it, to touch it, to feel it, to get a sense of it. Um, that and you know you you may see a couple of pictures um, depicting a certain deck, and it's usually the best pictures of the group that they'll showcase, and that's great because you know that'll sell you on the deck. But then you have no idea what the rest of the deck looks like, and there have been a few that I've gotten that once I've gotten the deck and started going through the cards, I was like, wow, this really isn't to the standard that I thought it was going to be, or the the pictures just didn't speak to me. Um, I tend to go for really vibrant, color-saturated cards. Those are my favorite to look at strictly for the artwork. Um, although I have some that has is very basic, minimum artwork in it. Um, some hardly with any color in it, but it's the message that comes across that's clearer. So in order to determine what's best for you that way, 
only way you can do it is to simply be able to look at the entire deck and see it card for card and see if it speaks to you or not. Um, I really lucked out with this deck here. Uh, it really, really spoke to me. I've got two more new decks that just came in. So I'm getting ready to um, do my work through for each card, do my cleansing. Then I'll come on here and I'll do this. So y'all have a great night and I will see everybody soon. Bye for now.